In order to make a forced perspective photograph, you are going to need two items. I chose a teddy bear and a cup. Now my cup is obviously a lot smaller than the teddy bear, but I want to make it look like the cup is about to go right on top of the teddy bear. In order to create this forced perspective, I need to put a lot of distance in between the two objects. So I'm going to leave my teddy bear where it is and I'm going to grab my cup. Now I'm holding my iPad for my camera, so what you're going to do is take your two objects, put one of them far away from you, and put the other one close to you. So my teddy bear is far away, I've got my glass in my other hand. Now that my glass is close to the camera, when I put it down like this, it looks like it's going to go right on top of that teddy bear. I can take my picture and then I have a forced perspective photograph where it looks like the cup is going to enclose the teddy bear, but really we know my cup's a lot smaller than my teddy bear. I put some examples for you on the Schoology assignment, so there are some other examples if you're stuck and you're not really quite sure what two objects that you want to use. But the first step is going to be getting those two objects and then putting some distance in between them and making one look like it's bigger than it actually is. Another example I could show you is my teddy bear and my shoe. Now my shoe and my teddy bear are different sizes. My shoe is a normal size shoe, but I want to look like I want to make it look like it's a giant shoe that's about to step on the teddy bear. So what I need to do is leave my teddy bear where it is. I'm going to grab my shoe. I'm going to move far away from the teddy bear. And then with my shoe in the same hand as my camera, I'm going to put it on top of the teddy bear like this. And now it looks like my giant shoe is about to step on the teddy bear. This is because my shoe is close to the camera and my teddy bear is far away. When you get your two objects, you need to make sure that one of them is close to you and one of them is very far away. Feel free to return the help of some other people in your house, maybe you siblings or parents, that could help you to move these two objects away from each other. If you think back to the example of the person who looked like he was blowing the other people away, you could get some people to help you with that. He did that by making all those other people stand far away from him, like my teddy bear is far away from me. And then he stood very close to the camera to make it look like he was holding those people. I could even do this with my teddy bear. If I put my hand out in front of my camera like this, my hand is close to my camera and it looks like I have a really tiny little teddy bear sitting in my hand. That's because my teddy bear is far away from my camera. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to send me an email, send me a message on Schoology, and I can help you with this. Have fun, be creative, and I can't wait to see what you come up with.